Hi guys, this is Mr. Dave and this is Charlotte and we are with the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History and we are back for another episode of Breaking, Breaking Boredom. Boredom. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. See? <laughs> <Nice>. same, <laughs> same time that time. We finally got it after 100,000 episodes. We are finally in sync. High five. <laughs> Alright, so uh, this one is another uh, little fun science demonstration. Very easy, very inexpensive, uh, and you can make some little doodads and and thingamabobs that trinkets. you can trinkets that you can have for a good long while. We're actually going to be making plastic out of milk. That's when you say it's, it's about as gross as it sounds. It is, yeah. The middle part of that process is pretty nasty. It's pretty okay, gross. Uh, but we can show you here. Uh, these are some ones that we made earlier. Now these ones are not completely cured or completely dry. Uh, but these are some little things that we made in these molds. Uh, when this stuff does finally harden, it's about as hard as a rock. They, in fact, used to use the same kind of plastic to make pool balls. So that tells you that it's, it's pretty hard because I've, I've smashed my finger with a pool ball and I thought it was one of the hardest things I've ever felt. Yeah, uh, yeah. so uh, this is a little ice cream mold that Charlotte made. But whenever you're using a mold, like a cookie cutter, that's what we use for these, you want to make sure that... It's crumbling. <laughs> you want to make sure that it doesn't have These too much dried detail, yet. um, because see on our little poor penguin, penguin, you can't really tell it's a penguin anymore because the beak fell off. Um, <laughs> it was just too small of an area. Yeah, it was supposed our to look swan like that, ended up but... amazing. Yeah, <laughs> and these are still a little soft. These yeah, have not yeah. dried yet. Now They're you have to uh, kind of. Think about when you make these, it really takes about two days to fully cure. These ones here, we put, we made. Mm, this morning. This morning. Yeah, so a couple hours ago. And and they're uh, still like hard enough that you can hold them, but they're spongy. They're squishy. They're squishy. Technical that is a term. Scientifical term. Scientifical. Yes, I said For that. For our loving homeschoolers out there. <laughs> yes. Scientifical term. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead. All you need for this one is milk and vinegar. Now this milk. For okay. every cup of milk, you need one tablespoon of white vinegar. Yeah. So what if we were going to have four cups of milk? Wait, what? What if we were going to have four cups of milk? How many tablespoons of vinegar? Four. Nailed it. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're using two cups of milk, okay, for this one. Uh, and the projects that we made over there were about two cups of milk. So we're going to use two cups of milk, uh, which means two tablespoons of vinegar. So I got this uh, giant thing here to make sure we would not run out of vinegar. It is quite uh, obnoxious. There, if you were to measure this out in two tablespoons, uh, there would be about 126 uh, tables or tablespoons or two tablespoon servings in here. Quick for size. Yeah, because it says so how many on the side. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. There it is. All right, this is very easy to do. Uh, we're making what's called a casein plastic, and it's called that uh, because the protein in the milk is a casein, uh, and the polymers in there uh, during this reaction will unfold and give us a nice chain so we can create that plastic, okay? So all I've done there is I poured in how many cups of milk? Two. Two cups of milk. So we are now gonna need two, two tablespoons <laughs> of vinegar, okay? Vinegar. Uh, I'll have you hold the tablespoon. You don't really have to be super precise on either of these measurements. Again, this one here is something that the kids can do very easily. You do want to be careful heating your milk. Make sure there's an adult with you there because uh, you don't want to end up anybody getting burnt. And you don't need milk like boiling hot. It just no, needs to no. be nice and warm, okay? Uh, but this is one that the kids can do. They can make a mess. Uh, and the vinegar is a wonderful cleaning product, but you don't want to have to clean it up off no, of anything. No. Especially uh, with what's about to happen. Yeah, because it gets kind of... It does, yeah. it does. Uh, but this vinegar here, like I said, these measurements are approximate, okay? Uh, you can have a little bit more vinegar, not enough vinegar, you're gonna have a hard time, but you can have a little bit too much vinegar and it'll still be okay. You can have more vinegar and it'll still be okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go for two uh, tablespoons, but if it drips a little bit in there, it's not a big deal. Go ahead and dump that one in there, okay. good. Uh, and then one more. Oh, I missed. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good. And then there you go. Nice one. Cool. Okay. All right. So uh, now what she's going to do is go ahead and just stir that stuff up. So with this, look, look at that. Look you can at this. see um, that that has begun to curdle your curds and, and whey. Look at how much of this has already clumped together even though we just poured it in it's 
pretty gross. Yeah, it happens pretty gross. almost instantly. Yeah, and you stir it around. Now keep stirring for a little while because you really want those uh, the the vinegar to be able to penetrate and be able to unfold uh, that that protein that casein Whoa. so that we can get those nice chains that are going to make our polymer bunch of scientific terms there yeah uh, or those are actually scientific terms because they're real words <laughs> uh, and that polymer that is going to make our plastic okay so once you have all of your goop in there okay I'm gonna scooch this back here so you can kind of if you ever have milk that looks like this in the freezer. Yeah, the spicy, you, chunky milk. Yeah, that's you stop drop and roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you definitely don't want to drink it. No. Yeah, ew. No. I don't know uh, when milk knows how to become yogurt, uh, but you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to use our little strainer, okay, uh, to sift this. Now, if you have a colander, it'll work. If your chunks are pretty big, some of them might wash through. A strainer works pretty well. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use this to get our uh, plastic, our casein, uh, out of our container here. Okay? And this is so when So you we can realize... grab that glass right over there, we'll put it into that glass. This is when we realize how disgusting it is. Right, it's pretty nasty. It's gross. It is gross. Gross, very gross. <laughs> gross okay, gross, gross. so I'm gonna use this gross, gross, gross. and I'm going to pour. It smells awful. It smells pretty vinegary, yeah. If you get this all over you, you will end up smelling like a pickle. Oh, okay. great, I already did. <laughs> all right, so as I pour this here, uh, you're going to see that it'll filter through. I'll pour a bunch <laughs> on the table there. Yay, me. Nice. Uh, yeah, nice so uh, we're getting that plastic out of there, that casein out of there, <laughs> uh, when we're pouring it in and we're sifting it. Okay, I'm going to scoop it out a little oh. bit. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna scoop it out into our scoop. Into our scooper. There you go. And you can see it's already pretty solid. <laughs> it looks like cottage cheeses. Now, if you uh, if cousin. you have watched some of our videos before, we have the invisible soda video. Uh, and that one, you, you, yeah, that was also nasty. That was not. My but a lot of that was really the same reaction that's happening here: our casein, our protein. Uh, separating okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our plastics these yep and we're going to go ahead uh, sift them out real good they're nice and sifted do you want to go ahead and put them in the cup so they can see sure. Pop. Oh, that is gross yes okay I touched it all right so we've got our plastic here Okay. Ew. Hold it. Hold it this way so they can see. There you go. <laughs> Ew. All right. Now comes the gross part. You get to play with it. Yay. Yay. Okay. This so, is when I actually started to enjoy it. Though. This so. is the fun part. Yeah. So we're going to slide it over. We've got our other molds that we had made there. We'll Poor scooch those to the front so you guys can see those so ones. So the molds that we have now are a little heart. Aw. A teddy bear. Aw. And the lion. And the lion. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Uh, so what you're going to want to do first, though, is you're going to have that extra vinegar in there. Now, it doesn't hurt, but it really kind of extends the drying time. It takes a lot longer to dry if you've got a lot more vinegar in there. Uh, so we're going to squeeze some of that vinegar That's out. That's so gross. Okay. Uh, so go ahead, grab that plastic there, uh, and just squeeze some of that vinegar out into here. I, I see that you're letting me do the dirty work. Oh, yeah, that's disgusting. I wouldn't touch that. Uh, Ew. And uh, it's warm, too. That that adds to the, <laughs> to the now, gross. Now, the vinegar that's in there isn't going to hurt your skin or anything like that. You will want to wash your hands when you're done uh, because, you know, I'm going to end this video with wash, wash your hands. Your hands. But, yeah. yeah, so she's got kind of a nice little small um, ball of that. What we're going to do now in order to make it into our little toys, our little doodads, Dead. Is we're going to take Dead. these molds, okay, and we're going to squeeze, squeeze it into the molds, okay. I'm squeezing it into the bear. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can hold it up here so you can see. And as much as you squeeze it, the um, smoother it's gonna be. Yes, yeah, so you want to squeeze it lots and lots, okay. So these guys here are now pretty squeezed into our molds, and that is really, uh, yeah, there you go. That's the only step. The next step is to wait, okay? Remember I said it takes about two days to dry. Uh, what comes out 
are these fun little guys here. Now, this one here we did this morning and it's already pretty hard, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but the longer that you let that set, it takes about, like I say, two days to cure fully. Uh, then that, that those polymers are drying as that vinegar is evaporating and you get a nice strong milk. Oh, she's got to, don't touch it. That's perfect. Don't touch. Oh my goodness. No, touch. Ah, there you go. There Yay. you go. Yeah. Yay. All right. Uh, so as you can see, we have now made milk from plastic. It's once it's dry, it's like hard as stone. Yeah. It's like, like it's, a rock. It's a rock. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, Charlotte. Again, I'm Mr. Dave. This is Charlotte. And together we are Breaking, Breaking Boredom. Boredom. Uh, this was making milk. I mean, making plastic from milk. Yes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, and as we always say, don't forget to wash, wash your, your hands. hands.